Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we're taking a look at an asset from the asset store called Dungeon or Low Poly Tomb Battle Arena, also a tower defense pack. Now, uh, I must say that I have reviewed uh, stuff from this creator before, and I actually quite like um, their style that they create. So let's take a look at the demo scene that it comes with. Now, for those of you who do follow these reviews, you may have seen some of them um, a couple of months ago on my channel. Um, I actually like this one more than the other two uh, tower defense packs that I reviewed. I really, really like this one. I just feel it's so much, there's so much depth to it, you could say. So quality wise, it is really, really nice. Just look at it. I mean, yeah, it follows the same pattern as the others, but it just looks so diverse. I think I really love this green slime all kind of drooling down. Now, there is one thing with this pack that I had a little problem with. Well, I say it's a problem. It's just a little something extra you have to do. You'll notice the fire and smoke here is working, but these aren't. So all I had to do to get that working was go onto the particle systems and just quickly attach a material from the folder here, the cube particles. That was all I had to do. I don't know whether it would happen for you. Not quite sure why it happened. Um, it may just be me. Uh, but other than that, there were no problems with this whatsoever. Even with that, that, I wouldn't really consider that a problem. It's just, it may have just imported that way for me into Unity. I, I can't tell. So quantity wise, there is loads going on here. Everything has got the animations it needs. So I'm just going to quickly go back to the game view. We can see here the little swinging axes, the coins rotating, the chest opening, the spikes, the drooling slime. There, uh, I mean, just look at it. It really is great. And if you're creating this style of game, this is going to be great for you. There's so much diversity that you can choose from this. I mean, you could just take this one and probably create three or four different styles of levels just from this one demo scene, just by changing a couple of things, uh, maybe colors or whatever. And that's where the versatility of it all comes in. So if we were to go to the green slime, for example, and I don't know, you could change it to some degree, I guess. You could just change the um, material to back to standard if you wanted to, tint it a dark red or something, and maybe add a normal map to it and just see how it looks. But, you know, if we turn it red, that's how it looks now. And that's kind of cool. And that is how diverse this uh, pack can be. It's very versatile and very customizable. So price wise, free as of uh, reviewing this pack. Remember, prices do go up and prices do go down, so just keep that in mind. I managed to get it free. Um, it may be paid, but even if it is a couple of dollars, to me, if you're making a tower defense game, this is worth it. The file size is clearly with mobile games in mind. It is less than a megabyte. That is an amazing size for what you get here. Absolutely amazing. And even if you're not specifically aiming for mobile games, you wanted to aim a little bit more PC-wise, but still have this visual style, you can even add a bit of post-processing if you wanted to. And let's see what that looks like in-game. Obviously, you would have a different post-processing profile. It's something that you would work on yourself, but, you know, that's kind of cool. Ooh, creepy. And actually, even with the broken materials, that still kind of looks cool. I like that. So, uh, extras, there's so much within this pack. There, there is so much within it. I'm not sure how far you could go with extras because you've got all your prefabs that you need here. You've got your traps, your overall prefabs. Um, so I don't think there's anything in the way of extras, but there is a massive amount of um, stuff here. So the quantity-wise is really, really high. And like I say, the usefulness of this is if you're creating some mobile tower defense game, you know, you move a space or something, move a space, move a space, and it's first person to get over here to the finish or something, you roll a dice, maybe if you're going for that style of game, a whole Mario party, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I, I really, really do like this more than the other assets that I've reviewed from this creator. So as you guys know, I don't rate assets. I either recommend them or I don't. You guys know I'm going to recommend this. Of course I'm going to recommend this. This is a really, really nice asset. It's simple. It's easy to use. It looks nice and it can be used for mobile and PC, which is really, really good.
yes, I'd recommend it to pretty much anyone if you're making this style of game. Even if you're not, maybe just use it as a prototype arena for something. There's always going to be something useful within this package. So guys, have you used this asset yourself? Have you used anything else from this creator? Let me know in the comments what you think of all of these assets from, I believe his name's Oren Sky. Yeah, let me know. And if you've got an asset on the asset store yourself, please let me know as well, because I'd love to check it out and possibly review it in one of these little reviews. And finally, guys, don't forget, click on that subscribe button and click on that bell icon as well. You can stay up to date with everything I've got on video game development on my channel, because there's always something new to see, always something new to learn here. I upload regularly, as you guys know. And guys, thank you very much for watching.